That's running. right. Yep, it's running <laughs> toward that mid tower. It's yeah, sneaking around there. No creep waves in range, so back to protect. It's only 124 HP tower though. He's gonna be able to bring this oh, one right. down with ease. Oh, and now he goes for the range. And Liquid now they make their way into the pit though. Okay. They really need to get this Roche at least to be able to try to. I think they need to just like go time after this. Make sure the side lanes are pushed out from both the life stealer and the tinker, and then boost to travel in for fights with the team. Look at GH with this DD. He's soloing the Roche as a Night Stalker support. See for they're on their way over. Yep. Liquid take it down in time. They should be fine. Ice Blast coming through. Still heading in. We're not gonna see. GH head up, sort of try and block this one off. They'll back off. The Ice Blast does connect. Being careful how they commit. Arcorn is keeping into the Oh, the, the push is the miracle deal with both of these. That's the question. He's got the Hex on to both. He's trying his best to deal with this split. They may find the bear. BKB's pop. The bear's still alive. He's going back up the racks, but he will get taken down. Oh, that's Supernova just in time as Mind Control nearly falls to the control of the Tempest double. Back it towards to the pit. father has got his eyes on GH. Kuroki and Matuma Man still outside the side of it. Father moves him with the Hex. Drops it down onto GH. Secret going into the pit. Matuma Man pops the Rage. Moving on to Fada, Fada pops the BKB. GH and Matumba trying to take down Fada. Do they have the damage? Liquid, they need backup and they need an But Look at the base. They've got the split push again. The bear has been TP'd in. Liquid, they're having to deal with this Roach fight and the base. Oh my goodness. The base looking to be in a lot of trouble as well. They do manage to force it back out, back towards the pit. GH has been caught out, blown up by the Ice Blast. No Night Stalker for 100 seconds. Secret, they'll claim Roshan. Liquid just getting pulled apart as there is so much for them to deal with. And now the wife is in trouble. Mind Control comes in with a supernova save, dodging the ravage for both of them. Instant refresher shard used by the Lone Druid so we can actually have a bear since that second one did die in the mid lane. They're trying to retreat. Secret looking to chase. They've found Kuro. They should be able to find him. Hex, Nullifier, the uh, Silence from the Bloodthorn as well. They've taken down two. Liquid, no buyback on GH or Kuroki. Oh my god. And as you say, still with those extra ravages, Vada pops. He popped one refresher shard. He has another one. Can Liquid really hold three against five? Wait, no, sorry. He popped his refresher orb. Oh, just... Ice Blast comes in. He's gonna pass over Matuma Man. Rage is popped. They look towards Yapsa. Fada pops the ravage, but Matuma Man still with the rage, trying to fight. He's looking towards the Tempest Double, but Miracle's yeah, been jumped on. He's down for 100. Buyback from him. Buyback from Mind Control. They're trying their best to hold. Matuma Man popped the BKB, but the racks are already down. Secret got what they came for. Can Liquid punish them? They'll try and push back Matuma with a Savage Roar. Matuma Man cannot chase Secret out of this. Yapsa comes back in. Looking for the burst. The right. There's the second ravage. He's called Miracle. This is going to be a dieback on Tinker. He's down for two minutes. Secret slowly but surely just breaking down Liquid in this game. And GG will be called Secret take game two as they lead this best of five grand finals two to zero. What a mentally draining game that was. I took the words right out of my mouth right there. They were looking at a pretty good, pretty good position when they forced a lot of buybacks there going for the pushes, but Ace with the Lone Druid.